Happy New Year's world and welcome back to Legaspi Sauce. I'm Sean and I'm here with my boy Jello. Hey. Today we're in the Upper West Side, about to have some makana known for their barbecue, pokey, and tacos. I'm excited for them tacos, man. I'm so excited too, bro. So let's head over to Hawaii and have our loaded tots and spam musubi. Alright guys, so this right here is the spam musubi. It's pretty much sushi, but with spam. Spam is common in Hawaii and the Philippines, so for mm -hmm. me it's like eating like home. Yeah, what bro. you got there, bro? Yeah, bro? This is the crispy coconut shrimp, bro. Look at that coconut. Bro. Ooh, look at that crispy, man. And you gotta try it with this, the specialty sauce, bro. What's that sauce? It's like sweet and spicy pineapple sauce, bro. Sweet and spicy you gotta try pineapple. This, bro. Yo, I like Ooh. pineapple, yo. Look at that. And they, it's home. They made it here, right? I think they make it here. Homemade, yo. Right, Josh? Yeah. Homemade with love. <laughs> Lots of love. All right, bro. Let's dig into Let's our food. Spam right, we'll musubi. Cheers. Me, I'll cheers you with this one. Man. Cheers, bro. Mmm. Mm. See what I mean? With like, it's like a sushi. You got the rice. You got the spam. Wow. You got the seaweed wrapped around. Wow. Mmm. But we gotta try this one. Wow. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Mmm. Yo. This coconut shrimp is fire, bro. Yeah. Especially with that sauce, like this pineapple sauce gives it like so much flavor. Yep. Mm. Yep. So this is the loaded tots. You see, you got the tater tots right here, and on top you got the Kalua pig drizzled in wasabi ahi sauce and spicy mayo. Let's get, get this, it. bro. Mm, that's it. Wow. Mm. Mm. Bro. Mm. Yeah, that cool pig is bro. banging, bro. You gotta have the. You gotta try like the cool pig like just by itself. Mad flavor. Yeah. No, but the combination of all the flavors, bro. Yeah, bro. I mean, like I'm saying, like just the pig itself is good, yeah. but everything else like combined, bro, is like another level. For real. So every time you have Hawaiian food. You gotta have the macaroni salad. It's a classic. It's a classic. You can have it with anything. You can have it with your rice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, nah, 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 nah. You can have it with your rice. But I'm saying, like, with your rice dishes, with the macaroni salad, it's kind of like the topping, bro. You got yeah. your rice, your protein, your macaroni salad. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a little extra, extra on the side. It's kind of like similar to like Jamaicans, yeah. right? Yeah. They put macaroni salad on their dishes or like potato salad. And also Filipino Filipino dishes, bro. They, they always have this salad yeah. too. Yeah, they have always have this, man. Word. This brings me back to the Philippines, yo. Facts. What do we have in next, bro? This is the Hawaiian tacos, bro. Look at this fish taco, bro. They have this panko crusted white fish, bro. Ooh, more with some wasabi ahi sauce. Ooh, Maui onions and some Hawaiian slaw. Ooh, Ooh. bro. That sounds. Now, what are you having right here, bro? All right, so right here we got the Kalua pig tacos. Kalua is actually a Hawaiian traditional cooking style where they slow roast the meat. It keeps mm. that pork juicy. Mm, yep. We, try that, man. we also have our spicy mayo over here and the slaw, just like on the fish tacos. Let's, get Let's it. eat up, Brody. Cheers. Man. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's called little pig tacos. It's in the spot right now. Like previously, when we were at Taqueria Chila, we were talking about the meat to tortilla ratio. This right here is perfect because the meat doesn't slide out too much, and there's just enough uh, pork to fill in that tortilla. Mmm, good. Yeah, bro. Nice, bro. I like that fish, man. It's so good, bro. What I like about Hawaiian food is like. All these mixtures of like yeah. land and sea, yeah. bro. So yeah. now we're getting like, what do you call this? Refreshing. Refreshing, right? like that citric mm -hmm. like taste, Ooh. right? Just adds like another dimension to that. Let's try it with that sauce, bro. Yo, we're let's put in some sweet and spicy pineapple let's try sauce, sauce in here. Everything. Yo, facts. Yo, this sauce is crack. Mmm. <laughs> we, for, we forgot. Boom. Mmm. Yeah. Yo. Open these, bro. We gotta stay hydrated, guys. This is the Hawaiian Sun Faster than Orange, bro. It's actually my first time trying this, bro. I'm excited. Where? <clears throat> it's 
gonna be orangey. <laughs> orangey, right. passion fruit. Better have this you with go. your Hawaiian food. Cheers, bro. Hipa, hipa, hipa. Hoopa, hoopa. Hipa, hipa. All right. Hipa, hipa. <laughs> it's like those juices, like in the tetra pack where you like poke it. Yeah, like the Capri Sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you gotta poke it from the Something butt. Something like that, yeah. Alright bro, here we got the classic Loco Moco. We've already seen this before in our first episode at Food Truck. Yep. But if you haven't yet, check the link down below. But the Loco Moco here, a Makana, it has two beef patties with corn on top of rice. And on top of that bro, we got two perfectly fried eggs. Yeah. Let's dig in bro. Dig in, bro. Yo, let me cut this one. Bro, I'm so excited. Yeah, man. Get some gravy right there. Gravy edge. Mmm. That's bro. good. That is good, man. Yeah. The mm. rice, bro. The beef mm. patty with the gravy. Yep. Mmm. Ah. This around. is like their comfort food, right? Yeah, bro. It's comforting. It's like... comforting, man. Mm. So, what do you think? Which locomoco is better? Makana or food truck? Ooh, yo. I played the fifth, bro. Honestly, the only way that we could settle this is if you watch both the food truck video and the Makana video and you visit both spots, yep. then we'll find out. All right, let's move on to the next one. Right here, we got the famous Makana bowls. I have the ocean poke bowl, which has ahi tuna and salmon. What do you got, bro? I got the land bowl, bro. We got the chicken barbecue huli, right? Big short ribs, corn, grilled pineapple, and some kimchi, bro. Ooh, that's a good combo right there. Bro, that's a good looking plate. Word. I mean, over here too, like at my poke bowl, bro, I also had like some, some beans, mm -hmm. some seaweed, and it looks like, like some- slaw, right? Yeah, some slaw, bro. And then of course, with that, we got the Hawaiian fried rice. Mm -hmm. It's stir fried in house with their special sauce and pineapple. Yeah. Dig in, bro. Let's dig in. We got here the vaccine yeah, right the, here. The, the vaccine. <laughs> what is that, bro? <laughs> Slices and ginger, bro. It's good for the vid. Word. What's That's it what called? AP sauce. And what does it stand for? All purpose sauce. Hey, you put Hell that yeah. on everything. You gotta put that right now, bro. Ooh. Ooh. Bro. Let's get it. Let's get it, bro. Ooh. That chicken, bro, that sauce. Mmm. Oh, bro. I love pokey. Shout out to all the West Coast yeah. people out there. That's a juicy Shout chicken to the too. Usually chickens are dry, but this one's juicy, bro. Bro. Mm. With that AP sauce. Whew. Yeah. The AP sauce, man. Bro. Spooky too, man. Like, <clears throat> I'm a fan of sushi, so I really like raw fish. But having it as a bowl, bro, it's just more convenient to eat, mm -hmm. I feel. And you get more stuff like mm -hmm. the, the slaw, yeah. the seaweed. I mean, you get that on sushi too, but you get more portions on a bowl. We gotta try this fried rice, man. Yep. Yeah. Word! You gotta mix and match. Try new combinations. Mm -hmm. Genius. Word, let me try it with the shrimp in. Mm. Oh, Bro! Good. That short rib. Banging. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Bro, I feel like the short rib can be addicting. It's like something yeah. you just keep munching yeah. on. It's like one of those foods you just mm -hmm. pick from the bone, bro, where you just munch the meat off. Bro, I can eat like this all day, this. man. Mm. Wow. With the rice, bro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good it's call like on that, man. Perfect flavor, right? Yeah, good call, bro. You yeah. caught that good. Bro, all that food, bro, I'm getting thirsty again. All right, let's try this drink, bro. What's this thing called, bro? So this is called the Plantation Iced Tea. It's their homemade iced tea with some fresh fruit and pineapples. Mm -hmm. As you can see, Hawaiians are big on pineapples. You can't go wrong, bro. Pineapples, yep. they're like heaven, man. Cheers. Hoopa hoopa! 
Riba, riba. Riba, riba, bro. Riba, riba. Riba, riba. It kind of reminds me of like a healthier version of Sago Galaman, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro, the regular iced teas, watch out, bro. This yeah, is the new shit, bro. Yo. Put this in a can or a bottle, bro. Yo, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. And then you could put like, bro. like tequila on this, bro. <laughs> Some vodka. Bro, it's the new iced tea. Like the lo what, yeah. what is Long Island iced bro. tea, bro? bro Plantation real. iced tea. Just <laughs> add your vodka. Just add your tequila. <laughs> Yo, just add your rum, bro. Mm -hmm. This is the new way to get lit. This mm -hmm. will kill the vid for sure. Yup. Add some ginger in there. <laughs> A wrap. All right, bro. Let's move on to the last thing. Let's go. The dessert. Halpia. 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 How do you say it? Halpia. 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 All right, bro. Last Ooh. but not least, we got the dessert. The halpia. So halpia. 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 So halpia is a is a coconut pudding that's layers with chocolate and crushed graham crackers. Coconut pudding. Mm -hmm. Yo, I love coconut, man. Let's try this halpia. Let's go, bro. Mm. Look at that. Bro. What? This coconut pudding. I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not giving this to y'all, bro. <laughs> I'm giving this to myself. <laughs> bro, this is the type of thing just that kidding. I just... You don't Yo, want to share this, this bro. Is, no, I don't want to share this, bro. I think it's just like a mm -hmm. melting mm -hmm. in it, bro. And the creaminess on your mouth. Yo, facts. Like that like, you know, graham crackers and the crunchy. And the chocolate, bro. Yeah, bro. Chocolate and coconut, it's bro. so good, bro. It's a must try. Yo, that was banging, bro. Yeah, I feel like I'm in heaven. Yo, where I got a little itis right like, now. I wanna, like, I want to like, chill. Yeah. But before we go, let's go ask Chef Josh a couple of questions about Makana and Hawaiian food. Let's go. Bro, I just wanted to say thank you so much for having us, man. The food was so good. Yes, um, you know, anytime you can come here, it's always like, you know, Mak Makana is always open. Um, and also you can visit our other three stores. Yeah, I gotta visit the other Makana, bro. Where are they at? So the other one is in uh, the east side on 116th. Okay. Uh, the other one is in Washington Heights, and the fourth one is in Hamilton Heights. Oh, okay. Yeah. Definitely gonna visit yeah, all of them. Definitely. Man. Yep. Same vibe, same feel, same food. Oh, yes, yep. yes. Yep. Alright, so I just wanted to ask a couple questions, man. Yeah. What does makana mean? So, makana in Hawaii is means kit. Means kit, yeah. So, uh, back in 2010, two good looking guys named the day. Um, put up this restaurant and therefore the first location was in the east side oh, wow. because it was merely just bringing in the Hawaiian spirit the Hawaiian aloha spirit to New York City oh. because um, they were like born and raised in New York and they loved Hawaiian food so they, they came up with the concept of like makana That's a, a gift for New York City a gift for New York City. Oh my god, that's genius. And it is a gift, yo. Like, that food was a blessing, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bro. What was the inspiration to bring the Hawaiian culture here in New York? Yeah, um... So when we went to Hawaii, we saw, like, three big things. Uh, their warmth, the hospitality of the Hawaiian uh, culture. That's what they call the aloha spirit. aloha spirit. And also their food. Their food is always, like, fresh and always like well cooked because it's always like delivered to their family, friends that's why it's always like a gathering, a feast, a feast of something and the third one is always their vibe Hawaiians always smile there's problem, there's typhoon, it's sunny, it's beach at the end of the day they'll surf, they'll eat and then it's always like the aloha vibe Why is it called plantation iced tea? Okay, so plantation iced tea is an homage for the plantation pineapple plantation owners in Hawaii wow. and the workers or the hardworking plantation farm workers in Hawaii who cultivated fresh pineapples. Wow. Hence, they are one of the biggest, biggest um, supplier of pineapple all over the world. Wow. Bro, 
pineapples are amazing. Yeah. They're they're a gift too, bro. Yeah. Pineapples like we say in uh in our in the in the Hawaiian language, mahalo. Mahalo. Thank you. Yo, thanks a lot, bro. Thank you so yeah. much. There you have it guys. If you're looking for some banging ass Hawaiian food, yeah. definitely check out Makana in Manhattan. We had a great time meeting with you guys. Yo, Jello, tell them what's up, bro. Yo, you can catch me on Instagram at Angelo Karaan. Yo, it's right here, bro. The link. Yo, this was a good spot, bro. Thanks for having me. Bro, no problem. I had a good time meeting with you, bro. Yeah. Like, honestly, it was like heaven, bro. Like Hawaiian heaven. On behalf of Saucy Productions, we just wanted to say Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year to everybody. Or as they say in Hawaii, Holy Makahikio! And remember, stay, stay saucy! saucy.